hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks so first off hey welcome to all my new subscribers all of those who, of you who haven't subscribed yet and those of you who will be joining our kinky crew fam what's up welcome to our family make sure you like comment and subscribe for me so as you guys saw by the title today we are doing my first conditioner call so i'm gonna try and make this a series just to be reviewing conditioners you guys know that i just have so many products and I feel like I have a hard time, you know, like keeping track of what I used, what I liked, what I loved, what I, you usually remember what you hated, hated, but like, what are those things that fall somewhere in the middle? So today, my first conditioner that we're going to do a little review and demo on is the Beauty and Planet Shea Butter and Sandalwood Purposeful Hydration Conditioner. And it looks just like this. And it is almost gone. It was upside down. Y'all know I put my stuff upside down because who's wasting product who and i recycle my empty bottles my empty hair products if you guys don't do that you definitely should because we're out here saving the planet okay so what i'm gonna do for this video is i'm gonna read um the bottle to you guys let you guys know what it really does and then i'm gonna show you how i detangle my hair usually when i'm in the shower and then i have a shower comb to show you if the slip is really there outside of the shower as well and of course i have my warm spray bottle and then i will come back and let you guys know my final thoughts about this so this will be a quick video but y'all if you are interested in this conditioner i have some thoughts so first thing the bottle says is don't let hair dehydration harsh your mellow this conditioner infused with wild shea nut butter hydrates for lusciously moisturized hair linger your hair in the delicate sensual and mysterious scent of australian sandalwood oil and it also says planet our goal is a carbon footprint so small it's like we weren't even here we started our journey by loading our products with goodness and packing it in recycled bottles our fast rinse conditioner technology saves you from tangles and can help you save water our delicate scents are infused with natural and ethically sourced oils and extracts and then how to use you know it after shampooing spread your spread through your gorgeous locks avoid the roots rinse and go easy at the top and at the bottle it says yes it is organic coconut oil yes it is natural shea butter yes it is ethically sourced sandalwood yes it is safe for colored hair yes vegan yes with plant-based detanglers yes fast rinse yes not te tested on animals but it has no silicones no parabens no dyes no gilt and it is made from a 100 percent recycled plastic bottle so um yeah y'all this is a pretty natural conditioner love that for us so let's get on into it just going off the smell let me tell you guys about the smell real quick it smells a lot like sandalwood i mean if you have used sandalwood you'll know what it smells like that's what it smells like it's a very light scent i can't imagine anyone really not liking the scent because it's very very faint all right, y'all, so I did shampoo my hair. Of course, my hair is specially cleaned, and I used the Talia Wajid Black Earth Product Stimulating Herbal Cleanser. This is what it looks like, and you guys see where I'm at on the bottle. Um, this is only, this is the first time I've used this product in a while, so my hair is definitely stripped, which it's my time of the month for a sulfate shampoo so my hair is super clean which i love um but i feel like this is a shampoo i'm gonna have to use over time a bit because i'm not really sure what my thoughts are on this so this is what my hair is looking like just after shampoo there is like zero definition as you guys can see but what we're gonna do is i'm gonna spray my hair i have warm water in here because of course we are usually doing our conditioner our rinse outs in the shower to help us detangle so I'm gonna try and get my hair as wet as as wet as possible. <laughs> so just make sure that water is in there nicely. Okay. And I am gonna show you guys the consistency of this conditioner. So it comes out of the bottle super easily. Y'all know that's a big thing for me because I'm not trying to be in the shower squeezing a bottle and then you end up slipping in the floor and mm -mm. So this is what the conditioner looks like. It is sliding a bit, but when you, 
you know rub it around in your hand it melts in super easily so we are just going to go ahead and apply a nice amount so y'all know how we do a conditioner i have a lot of thick hair so i use a lot of conditioner and what that's why i fly through conditioners y'all y'all sometimes i have people ask me why i condition and deep condition and i really do it because i just have so much hair i feel like i would have to use so much deep conditioner to cover my hair and to detangle so it just makes more sense for me to you know use a rinse out so going on to it my hair doesn't really feel like much and i've used this enough times even in the shower it doesn't feel like much so i'm just getting shed hair off my hands um so i'm gonna take a little bit more and if you've watched any of my wash day products i am a finger detangler in the shower so i am going to show you guys in this section of hair how i finger detangle and then on the other section of hair i'm gonna do the same application situation but i'm gonna use my shower comb to detangle and see what the slip is like so this is what my hair looks like just with the conditioner you can feel that there is some moisture in there Okay, so when I finger detangle, of course, I like my hair to be soaking, soaking wet, but I literally just take pieces of my hair and just shingle them down like it's a wash and go. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to get my whole hair in the frame, but, and this is literally what I do while I'm in the shower, just to make sure that, you know, every piece is accounted for with conditioner. And they don't have to be as small of pieces as I take. My hair just gets tangled super easily. I really don't use a whole lot of combs and stuff. So this is what it is looking like. And for the slip, it's not crazy slip for me, but it's enough. So um, if I was to be in the shower, I would keep dunking my head underwater. But this is okay. Outside of the shower, it's not horrible. And it doesn't take super long for me to finger detangle. If you feel a knot, you put your finger in like a comb and just, you know, like. So if I was typically in the shower, um, just doing my conditioning, this is what I would be doing. And I feel like this has helped me retain a lot of length just by not using, you know, combs and stuff. So this works for me. If you like to um, detangle your hair with a comb, by all means, I'm gonna test the other side and see what that is like. So with the conditioner and me fingering, finger detangling my um, conditioner in, this is what my hair is looking like. And as you guys can see, the conditioner is pretty much soaked in. It's just this part here, but it is pretty much soaked in. So what I usually do while I'm in the shower, um, while I, I just pin it up while I'm working on a different section, but um, I learned from Jeanette J Beauty here on YouTube, I'll link her channel um, up above, is that if you twist your hair while it has the conditioner in it, it sort of locks it in and helps retain that moisture. So that's just what I've been doing. I've been doing this for years. I can't really speak to it if it really does anything, but it does help me after I finger detangle, help my hair doesn't get you know, knotted up again. So I'll just leave it like this, put it back in a clip, and I'll go to the next section. Like I told you guys, I'm literally doing the exact same thing. So this is what my hair looks on, like on this side. Um, it looks the same. Spray it with some water, I'll put my conditioner on, and then I will come back when it's time to use the comb. All right, y'all, so I'm back, and y'all know I cannot with the wet hair. This video was definitely a sacrifice because y'all already know how I feel about wet hair. Oof. So I'm gonna spray my hair with a little bit more water just to give the conditioner as much as a chance as possible. All right, so, and I of course start from the bottom. You start from the bottom so that you are not just dragging the comb through any knots. You start from the bottom just to make sure that, you know, you are being gentle. And as you guys can see, this is 
going through my hair pretty darn well i would say now i did pre-poo but i tried not to detangle as much because i knew i was doing this video but my hair usually gets tangled back up in the shower especially when i'm doing a sulfate shampoo but as you guys can see this is going through my hair nicely And just like that, y'all, my hair is detangled. So that definitely wasn't bad. Um, one thing I will say is that I feel like detangling outside of the shower is a lot easier than in the shower. I usually have a hard time detangling with this conditioner in the shower. But today, it is pretty smooth. I don't know if it's showing off for the camera or what. But today, it wasn't so bad. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to do the same thing and once i have the conditioner all over my head i'll come back and i'll let you guys know my final thoughts all right y'all i'm back and looking a mess what's new so i rinsed off the conditioner oof this is wet <laughs> y'all i rinsed out the conditioner and this is what my hair is looking like don't mind the part now this is what my hair is looking like. Oh. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I'm gonna put my hair up real quick so my shirt doesn't get all super wet. Y'all know how I feel about wet hair and I'll be back in just a second. Okay y'all, so I'm back with some surprising thoughts. First of all, I finished the conditioner. Y'all know my hair is thick, my hair is long. And conditions just don't stand a chance in this house okay so um i have some thoughts i have been using this conditioner for i want to say maybe like a month in a couple weeks or so um it is 13.5 ounces so it did last me a cute little minute um in the shower i feel like this doesn't work as well as outside the shower um and for that reason i wouldn't repurchase i condition my hair in the shower and i need it to be on 10 um which you would think that being that you're in the shower the water's there that it would have the slip that it would need but for me when i'm in the shower it just doesn't give what it was given outside of the shower so um i think that if your hair is maybe a looser curl pattern or maybe not as thick as mine that this would be good but for me in the shower this just didn't do what it needed to do um if you are a pre-pooer i think this would be a really really good pre-poo um i want to say it was like 5.99 or so i'm gonna put the price um i'll put it somewhere right here so that you guys know the price and i'll link it down below places where you can buy it um but for me i think this would be a much better pre-poo than a rinse out conditioner when i was detangling my hair out here it was a completely different experience from when i had in the shower so for that reason i wouldn't repurchase it but maybe i will eventually repurchase as a conditioner I, or as i'm sorry as a pre-poo um but if i'm paying actually that's a lot no i wouldn't because if i'm paying 5.99 for this i could pay 4.99 for the um just for me pre-poo or if i can't find that then the african powder pre-poo so um would i repurchase this probably not i love the smell it smells so smells so good i love that it's clean i love that it's made out of recycled bottles but would i repurchase it probably not i just feel like it just wasn't the best for my hair but yeah this is the beauty and planet shea butter and sandalwood purposeful hydration conditioner let me know if you guys have seen this tried this um if you did try it what are your thoughts if you guys like this video like the content that of this video the whole conditioner call if you guys want me to make this a series hit the like button and i will continue to do this for you guys because of course i am still gonna be trying conditioners and next week i'll be trying something new so yeah y'all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informative and i will see you guys next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join our kinky crew fam and i'll see you guys next time bye